just when you thought things couldn't get any more ridiculous. Brighton and Hove Council have announced that in their schools it will now be taught that boys can have periods. Just take a moment on that, because apparently boys, girls and people of all genders can have the painters in once a month. Now as a man I'm very excited by this because I'm very jealous of women with their monthly cycle. I've seen the adverts, I know once the tummy rockets come out it's all tight white shorts and gymnastics, although I've never heard a woman talk about how great it is. But apparently this is being done to end the stigma against the menstrual cycle. The fuck? And it's being hailed as a victory by some transgender um, protest groups. Now I've got friends who are trans and I've never heard any of them say what we need to do is confuse the fuck out of kids who are coming up to puberty, because that's who this is aimed at. You're going to have lads wondering why it is they haven't come on yet. And I'll set out my stall on gender once again. I believe that there are females, males and a very small number of people who were born into the wrong body, who are genuinely trans, who need some sort of surgery to correct that. But in saying that, if you are a female transitioning to be male, unless you've had your plumbing ripped out, technically you're still a woman. And the only people that can get Liverpool playing at home once a month are women. It's that fucking simple. I mean, you can identify as whatever you want, but I can identify as a giraffe. It won't give me a fucking long neck. The thing, though, that's really... Oh, here's the other thing. To make this more inclusive, they're going to put those sanitary bins that they put in um, women's toilets, they're going to put them in all the boys' toilets at the schools in Brighton. Because, as we all know, Teenage boys are known for being so empathetic and sensitive. I fucked that word up. Anyway, the thing that really angers me with this is how much has this shit cost? How many groups and committees and focus panels have they put together to come up with this idea? Because in this country, in the UK, there are thousands of girls who miss out on school every month because they can't afford to buy tampons and pads. Now, when the fuck did I become a feminist? Surely the money should be spent on them. But once again, it's in fucking Brighton, which used to be a nice little seaside town. It is now turning into a 24-hour fucking open-air circus. And I think I know who's running the council there now. Because although we know it's the Green Party hold the, the parliamentary seat, I think the council is being run by the People's Front of Judea, the PFJ. And if you don't get that reference, it's from the 1979 film The Life of Brian by Monty Python. Because there's a scene in that film where Stan, played by Eric Idle, explains he wants to be called Loretta, he wants to be a woman, and he wants the right and he wants to have babies. And although they work out he can't actually have babies, they will then fight for him to have the right to have babies. That's how fucking ridiculous this utter bullshit is. Thanks once again to my friend Charlie from the Bad Soul Buskers for finding me this story. Everyone, always look on the bright side of life.